everyone and welcome to another video. This is Yenea and today I'm gonna be making an interactive pullout tab card using the Stay Cool stamp set. I'm gonna start by stamping some of the images from this set using a black dye ink and my Misty and I'm going to create a water scene so I'm stamping the bird with the float, a couple of fish and the bear with the diving set. I went ahead and created a mask for the snorkel using masking paper because I'm going to stamp the bear on top of it. Dye ink is water based so it's the perfect ink to use with Copic markers because they are alcohol based so the ink won't bleed while coloring. So now I'm going to be coloring these images. I always use several shades of each color and I blend them together to create the effect of lights and shadows. I'm not doing anything fancy here, but I always like to share my process so I hope you enjoy it. Once I finish with the copy coloring, I'm going to take all those cute animals but the bear and I'm going to die cut them with the coordinating stay cool dies, running them through my die cutting machine. And I went ahead and cut the bear with my scissors, leaving some white space at the bottom. Now to create my background sky, I'm going to apply warm lipstick and scatter straw distress inks with my ink blending tool to create a sunset sky. I'm starting with scatter straw in the middle and then I'm going to apply warm lipstick all around the borders and come back with scatter straw again to blend the colors nicely. process to create the water panel. I'm applying cracked pistachio and peacock feathers using cracked pistachio on the center of my panel and peacock feathers on the borders. So here I have both panels ready 
and I'm going to use this wavy die from the Stay Cool die set to die cut the top of my water panel. I need to run it twice through my die cutting machine, so I'm securing it with some washi tape and correcting any imperfections with my scissors. Then I've trimmed it down with my trimmer and I'm starting to mount my scene. I'm figuring out where to place those little animals on my scene and then I'm gonna take the new fishing pond ink by Waffle Flower and I'm gonna stamp this wave from the staycool set on several spots of my card. This will add some detail to the water that otherwise will look plain and boring. Then I'm going to use the wave die again and I'm going to die cut one of the stamped waves. I'm keeping the wave in place with some washi tape on the back of the panel and I'm using this cut to insert my little fish so it seems that he's peeking out of the water. I decided not to do the same with the bird on the float, but you can try it as well. Finally, I secured it on the back with some clear adhesive and put foam adhesive at the bottom and borders of the water panel. The diaper bear will be the interactive element on my card. He will be getting in and out of the water when the tab is pulled in and out. So I'm cutting his bottom a bit, so you can see only a bit of the bear when he is on the bottom position. While holding the bear in this position, I'm drawing a line with my pencil on the sky panel. Then I place again the water panel and move the bear onto his top position. Then I hold him here again and I'm drawing another line on the sky panel. And I'm going to use these lines to cut a slot to connect the bear with the top. Ok, so to attach the bear to the top, I'm going to use a piece of foam adhesive and that's what I'm drawing there on the bear. Now I can draw another line with the total height of my, of my slot. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a little rectangle that I'm going to cut with my X-Acto knife and this doesn't need to be perfect at all because nobody is going to see it when the card is finished. So now that I have my slot, I'm going to take a square foam adhesive, checking that it moves loosely in the slot and adhere it to the back of my bear, just about where I draw my circle. And then I'm going to mount the bear and water panel on the sky panel and of course the little bird on the float using also some foam adhesive. Next I need a tab, so I've just cut a little stripe out of some aqua cardstock and I'm going to adhere it to the foam square on the back of my sky panel. I'm going to apply foam adhesive to create a channel for the tab to move up and down and I'm also applying it to the rest of the back of the panel. To embellish the tab a bit, I'm using my corner chamber to round the corners. And then I'm going to die cut this cute tiny hard die from Waffle Flower out of some pink cardstock and I'm going to adhere it to the top of the, of the tab with liquid glue. Then I'm going to emboss the greeting on a piece of cardstock, so I use my powder tool to prepare the surface and I'm using Versamark ink and I'm just stamping the sentiment from the Stay Cool set. I'm using white embossing powder so the sentiment pops out on the dark background. So I'm gonna heat set that really quickly with my heat tool and cut another the sentiment with foam adhesive to my card. Finally, I'm just adding my panel to our card base and that's going to complete our card for today. I really love this one and cute images on this set. It's just awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The supplies I used are listed and linked below the video. And here are a couple more cards that you may like. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye.